itself and not you. Yeah, it might be a good idea to try it twice. But, you know, sometimes... Or three times or four times. <laughs> yeah, sometimes what I'd like to tell people is that they'll offer you another place. Don't take yeah. the offer. Do not take the offer. Well, it depends because now um, normally if they offer you a second place, they take you to a landing point. So one of the orientation places. And from there you can go someplace else. So it's not like the old days where you could end up in a in the middle of something really awful. It's <laughs> normally a new it's normally a newcomer uh, starting place. So it's it's okay to try it, but but if it looks bad when you get there, then just log off and log back on again, or click on destination, and you can and you can go somewhere else. There's a little bar that says destination, and it shows you all that wonderful stuff, and you can click and go someplace else. So hey Barry, it's nice to see you this morning. Oh, I'm so sorry, Anne. Well, these things happen. Sometimes, Sometimes when, when you get, get too many, many people, people on the sim, too, it just shuts off. <laughs> You have to have 50 people on a sim before it gets hysterical and stops. <laughs> so shall we get started? Because yes, um, I'm just wondering, Barry, uh, did we get an answer from Barry? Does Barry have an account? Barry's got an account. Okay, yeah. excellent. So everybody basically has an account. I think people have gone over there already uh, since they're not here, at least the um, doors, I guess. Um, so yes. I think she's, Okay, she's, let's get started. Yeah. I'm going to take the camera in there. I practice. Um, like, no, no, stay. No, no let Nelly stay, stay here because we want to go through this PowerPoint No, no, first. I mean afterwards. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Ah, great, great. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, one of the reasons why I did this PowerPoint is so we have a tutorial in the course for people who are not yet in... Um, uh, not yet, not in, yet second in Second Life, life. and also and so also that when, so you're, that in when you're in life, Second Life, if you're confused, if you're confused about, about what you're doing, what you're doing with, your camera, with your camera or your snapshot, or your snapshot you, can you can open up the PowerPoint, PowerPoint on one side of your computer, computer screen, screen and have, and have uh, your, viewer your viewer on the other side and follow along, along trying, all, trying all, the all the different things. things. That's why you'll see these slides are very, very text dense. Um, they, have um, they have a lot of text on them, text on them. they have all they the explanation on them that you'll need. need. Now, now, everybody, everybody if, if someone has been, been in Second Life for many, for many years, years, there are lots of different types of viewers. And the viewer I'm using is the Second Life viewer. I'm, I'm actually using version 3.75, but from viewer 2.0 and up, the toolbars that you see in here are, are, have been pretty much the same. If you, if you have, have a different viewer, viewer just go around and explore all of your various menus, menus because, because you will, you will find, find the options I'm talking about in, in other viewers, like Firestorm or Singularity or some other places. places. Um, but, but they may not be located in the same place as, as they are located in the Second, second Life viewer. viewer. So, so for instance, up here these are your main menus. menus. Me is where things like stop motivating my, my avatar lives, this is communications. This, this is world, and world lets you do things like uh, change the light in the area that you're at. So any of these things, just keep a look, you know, click on them and go down and take a look at everything and see what's there if you're new to, to Second Life. This one you won't see. This is the advanced um, menu, and it's for builders, and it only comes up if you ask it to come up in your preferences. This is the left-hand uh, toolbar, and actually this is customizable. And it shows you all the various things. For instance, this one up here is getting a new avatar, if you remember from my tutorial. Um, this one down here is where your landmarks are. This one is your inventory of the little suitcase. You have gestures under this hand. Down here is where your clothing lives. These are your preferences. And this is for movement. And you want to just try all of these, too, if you're new to Second Life. So don't be afraid to click on buttons. You can't break anything. One of the most important things uh, on the right-hand side of the toolbar at the top is the time, and this is Pacific Daylight Time or Second Life Time. This is because the Linden Laboratory is located in San Francisco, California. So this is their at-home time, essentially, there. This little arrow here manages your music inside of Second Life. So if you're hearing a lot of music and you don't want to hear it, you click there, two little bars appear, and now you don't have your music. Under this um, little foghorn here, this little uh, audio um, icon, 
you'll see all the different levels for the sound that you have and you can make choices at turning them on, turning them off, whatever you want. Down here, this is the toolbar that we're going to be mostly concerned with today. And again, this is also customizable. So you could have more things on your um, bottom toolbar than I have. These are the things that I like to use. And the thing that we're, we're going to be looking at um, are these two tool buttons here, camera controls and snapshot. Now, if you're in another viewer like Firestorm or Singularity, or you're in a very old Second Life viewer, such as, um, uh, I'm sorry, such as, uh, oh, okay, wait a second. Nelly has asked me to turn my mic off in Second Life, so I'm going to go do that one second here. Okay, so now I'm back, and I hope you can still hear me. Let me get back to everybody. Okay, can you still hear me okay? Oh, good. All right. Um, the two controls here are camera controls and snapshot. If you're in Singularity, Singularity or Firestorm or another browser, you will probably find camera controls and snapshot in a different location, but they will be named the same, so you'll be able to follow along. Now, camera control is the first thing that we're going to play with. And these are really important. This allows you to see things all the way around you. It allows you to change your perspective. And it allows you to zoom in on the detail of something that you might be looking at. So here's what happens when you click on camera controls. This is the default screen that comes up. And you are usually defaulted right here on this little kind of round, um, you know, uh, geographical northeast, southwest kind of a button. And it gives you these two types of controls. And then this one here, this one, you see that it's a circle. You can click on all of these different arrows, and it will kind of roll you around in space. So while your avatar is staying very much, um, while your avatar is staying very much uh, stationary wherever you are, what you can see is changing. So your perspective rolls around you. This is a wonderful thing to do. You can um, take a look at many things that are a long way away by using these controls. And you can kind of spin around the place that you're in by using these controls. This guy here is your distance slider. If you're clicking on the plus, it takes you closer to something. And if you're clicking on the minus, it takes you farther away. Now, the important thing to know about this is it has a limitation. And we'll show you how to get even closer with the other zoom button. And these two, this is square. This, ju this should just go up, down, left, and right. So it, it allows you to move away again from the position of your avatar, see what's over to the right, see what's over to the left. And it also allows you, if you're taking a photograph, so this will be important later, to get above your avatar so your avatar is not in the frame. So when you get in world, there's some um, when you get in world, there are some boards up in the in the uh, sandbox, and we'll go and take a look at them as we get through the a little farther along here in the um, presentation. Besitos um, uh, and uh, just play with them. Just completely play with them. Um, don't... Okay. And um, just stay put where you are right now. And when we come into Second Life in a little while, we'll I'll send you a, a TP, you'll, a teleport request. You'll just need to write the name of your avatar, avatar in the chat box so that I can put it into my... Um, I can put it into my computer and and bring you to where we are. Okay, so these are your this is your default camera control, and again, it's a way to move around what you see to move your perspective around without moving your avatar. Now, the other there are two other buttons at the uh, on camera control, and if you click on this little guy, which is a looks like a video camera you will get the zoom. And this zoom is a little bit better to use than the zoom on the controls that you find under this button because you can zoom in much farther. You can come much closer to the individual or you can 
uh, pull out quite a bit. You can do this zooming, this extra type of zooming, two ways. You can either click on object view, and then you will see this little icon on your screen. And you just use your mouse to put that icon on whatever it is that you want to zoom in on. I actually zoomed in on this button when I made this picture. Um, and you can change where you, where you put this. For instance, if you're in a group of people and you want to see their avatar names close up, excuse me, I'm moving in my chair, um, you can put the little object view on their faces and then zoom in to see um, how the face looks. The second way that you can use this type of zoom is to click on mouse look. And that just means that the camera will follow your, um, your mouse into whatever it is that you're clicking on or you're looking at. Thanks, on. Um, so zoom is a really wonderful thing in the sense that it can get you much closer to something and you can be very specific about what it is that you want to see. Once you're done zooming in and you want to see your normal perspective again, you just follow this instruction on the screen which says press escape to return to world view. And that will take you back to whatever normal view you're in. And I'll show you what I mean about that in a second. Okay. Um, now, I'm, uh, I've moved out again, and, and just to show you that you can use this object view. You can take that little guy, put it on somebody's nose, and push yourself in closer, and then you can take a snapshot. That's really important to be able to take a snapshot, is to use the object view, and you'll see that in a second. The third option that's available to you in camera controls is avatar view. And this gives you three ways to look at yourself. And I always say this little guy looks like an eye to me. So you click on the little eye and you get this little menu. And you can click on front view, side view, or rear view. And these are all pertaining to how you are looking at your avatar itself. And I'll show you what these look like. So now I've got, I'm clicked on front view, and so it shows me from the front. And when your, your perspective in Second Life kind of moves your avatar. So Maggie was looking down here to see what was up. I had just clicked. So front view means you see your avatar from the front. Now there's a complication with front view. If you're in front view and you use your up arrow to move forward, you will move towards yourself. If you use the back arrow, you'll kind of get all discombobulated. So you want, if you want to walk around, you want to switch back to a different view because front view, you kind of don't walk in the direction you want to walk into. It's sort of backwards. But front view lets you take a look at yourself if you've changed your clothes and you want to see what's going on or you've gotten very creative and you've gotten a tattoo on your face or you've changed your hair or you've done something like that. Front view lets you get into your avatar, and it also helps you take a photo if you want to take a photo of your face or your whatever. Side view puts you sort of off to the le left-hand side of your head, and it minimizes what you see of yourself inside of the frame. So you can wander around as normal and see all kinds of stuff around you. I cropped this photo so you can't see that even with side view, I can see the, the, the house across the way and the swan pond, whatever I'm looking at. You get a full view in the viewer, but your avatar is kind of minimized in the background and you just see your head. So you're kind of looking past your left ear as you wander around. In this view, no matter when you use your arrow keys to move, um, it's normal. You're, you're moving up as forward, back is, is um uh, down is backward, left and right, and so on. So a lot of people like to do this because they don't like to see their avatar or um, they just would like to have more of the surroundings in the frame instead of taking up some of the frame with themselves. And the last one is rear view. This is the one I tend to use all the time, um, um, possibly because I identify a lot with my, my avatar. Um, but when you use rear view, you see the avatar from the back, and then you see all of the scenery arrayed around you, and the keys work as normal. 
uh, up is forward, down is backward, left to the left, right to the right. So these are your camera controls. And these can be very important to you, especially these two guys, the, the one that allows you to go up and down and over and kind of change your perspective, sort of angling in from the top or angling up from the bottom and moving to the side and so on. And then the, the um, uh, zoom views where you can get really close to something much closer than you can when you're in this geographical kind of a view. So camera controls are really great. And when someone says to you, oh, cam around, you'll be able to see it. What they're meaning is pick up. So you'll hear this sometimes, cam around or camming. And what that means is you've opened your camera controls and you're using your camera controls to change your perspective. Now, when you use a camera control to change your perspective, one of these guys, um, let me go back to that slide. Hold on a second. Just for a sec here. I'm going to get out of object. Okay, when you're using this one, the default menu, so this is the geographical one, you can literally go up and go many, many square meters off to in any distance. You can go way up into the sky, you can see. You can go 360 degrees around you. You can go down underneath the, the ground or underneath buildings and see what's up. So camming is using these controls to get a big view of what's around you without moving your avatar. So these are the camera controls. The geographical perspective view, the zoom, zoom view, and then your avatar view. Okay, now, let's see, is that my first, yes. Okay, so now another thing, <laughs> besides exploring stuff, um, which is always fun in Second Life, and you should always try everything when you're in Second Life, that's kind of the best thing to do. One of the best parts of having camera controls is that you can combine camera controls with your snapshots and make different kinds of snapshots. So now I've come over to the Swan Pond here in um, in the uh, sandbox area behind the buildings. And this is how I access my actual camera. So sometimes people get confused because camera controls refer to your perspective, whereas snapshot is a little photo camera, camera that takes photos. So you'll click on the snapshot button on the toolbar and that will bring up the options that allow you to take photos. And this is what opens up. It's called Snapshot Preview. You know, I've never actually used this button, so I assume um, it's moving forward or something. I'll have to go and try that out. You want to always try it. If you're confused, you can click on this little question mark and you'll get some help information. You can minimize your Snapshot Preview so that you can wander around and take a picture later on or you can close it using this little button here. This guy right here is your refresh. So the first time it opens up it shows you what you're looking at. And if you move or you move in closer or you just want to get a different view, for instance these sw the swans in this pond are swimming around. So if you want to get a different view of them you can wait until it looks like what you want to see in your photograph and you click on refresh and this new view will come up in the window. Now there's a bunch of different things that you can do here um, and you can either post it to the profile feed, you can email it, you can save it to your inventory or you can save it to your camera. Right now I don't have these intermediate um, menus up for slides and I don't have them in the camera workshop in the sandbox but I will get those up in a little while but just know that you can click on each of these things and take a look and see what's there when you say post to my profile feed it puts the puts the pitch picture I'm sorry puts the photograph in your profile and you will see a little top, you will see a little notice come up in the right hand side of your viewer that will give you a URL that you can click on. That will take you to your browser and you can see the photo that you put into your profile feed. When you click on email, it comes up with a little box 
and you can put in the email address that you want to send it to. You can send it to yourself or to others. If you decide to save it to your inventory so that you can use it in world, let's say you want to take a picture of something you're seeing and you want to make it into a, um, uh, a quadra, I can't think of it in English, a, um, a, a, a display or a, um, uh, a picture for the wall of your house or you want to pass it to somebody in Second Life, then you click on Save to My Inventory, a poster, right? Thank you. You can save it to your inventory. The only problem with doing that is that that does cost money. It costs ten dollars in Lindens, which is maybe about I don't know five cents or something. It's not so expensive, but it costs something to do that to save it to your inventory. If you want to keep the photograph on your computer, that's free. So you can just click Save to My Computer, and then it will give you some options about how high the quality is of your photograph that you save, um, whether it's lossless, whether you get a, a really good kind of depiction of what you took a picture of, um, and where you want to save it to, in what format, and all that. So I'll make um, boards of those that show you how all of these different options look. But these are your four options whenever you take a picture. Oh, and, and I'll give you a, a hint. When you save it to your um, computer, it'll call it Snapshot, unless you give it a different name. And then if you keep taking photos, they'll all be Snapshot 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. They'll number them as they go up, um, which is kind of fun. So we're back here. We've got a new view, and I have clicked on Refresh. And now I'm going to click on the camera controls and zoom in on something in this picture. So right now I've used the camera control, I've clicked there, and I've gotten the default geographic view, and I've clicked on some of the up buttons, and, I, and I've taken my camera's perspective, my, my uh, photographic camera's perspective, above my avatar's head, so I can just see the pond, and I'm not in the picture. And that's kind of cool. It took me a really long time to learn that I could take photos without me floating in the distance. But so you raise it, you raise your perspective above the height of your avatar, and then you can see the scene you want to take the photograph of without yourself in it. And then you click refresh, and you get that scene here, ready to save, ready to take the snapshot. Now, if you want to zoom in, here's your snapshot. So this is what happens when you take that snapshot. You're not there. That's one thing to remember. When you take a picture, sometimes you see people's names and faces, uh, their names above their faces. So they'll be, you know, up at the top, you'll have Maggie Larimore or Nellie Holmwood or something up at the top above the avatar's head. You'll also see dialogue boxes and other kinds of things on your screen. But if you take the picture, it will only take the picture of the scene. It will leave out all these little notices that, um, uh, Second Life puts into your viewer so that you get a pure view of the picture. And you can try these a few times and just see what they look like. Now I want to get really close on an object. Now let me go back again so you can see where this guy actually sits. All the way over here, right there, on top of that rock is a little bitty frog. So let's say you're really interested in that little bitty frog and you want to take a photo of him. So this is where you combine again your camera view with um, your snapshot. So what we've done is we've clicked on camera view and we've clicked here on the zoom and we've clicked on object view and then we have put that little um, looking glass guy on this little frog that was in the previous picture and it zooms in and you can use your arrow keys to get even closer and to change the way you're looking at this little frog. Once you get up here, where you're really looking at the guy, then you click on your refresh again. And when you refresh your photo, up comes your, your close-up of the frog. And you can make one of your choices. Put it on your feed or email it. Save it to your inventory in Second Life or save it to your computer. And I'll show you what that photo looks like. Whoops. Where did it go? I guess I didn't put it in there. Ooh. Well, <laughs> it looks like this. So you get a, a nice photo, a nice photo that's a close-up, and you can get really close 
to things. If you go to any of the art galleries in Second Life, there are a number of art galleries that are only for photography, and there are some spectacular photographers in Second Life who will not only just take a picture of something that exists in Second Life, but they'll change their shadow, they'll maybe change the illumination of the scene using the sun button on the world menu. That's the sun button on the world menu, and that gives you options for changing what uh, the illumination is like in world. And some of these photographs are really astonishing. There's a number of people who specialize in portraiture, and later on in the course, Doris is going to talk about a project where people are taking pictures of avatars. Um, but if you sell something, if you build something, or if you're just interested in how flexible in-world photography can be, then this is um, this zoom button is going to be very important to you. And whenever you zoom in, you just click refresh, and you can take your photo. So I forgot this morning <laughs> to do the slide that showed you your your little guy all up front, your your uh, uh, frog picture. Now this is another thing. Sometimes you want to make a picture of yourself. Like for instance, I am um, volunteering for the Virtual World Best Practices in Education Conference that is coming up um, this uh, week coming. I think it's the 9th through the 12th. And we're going to have, I'm going to have a tutorial put up and a notice board. There's already some information about it in, um, oh, thanks, Doris, in some other places that you can, uh, in this, the Chilbo Education Center about this. Because it's really a wonderful opportunity if you want to go and see a lot of speakers talk about their work. And some of them have never been in Second Life before. So um, it's really an opportunity. To be in um, to be in a volunteer, I have a badge, and I have to have my face on the badge. So I needed to take a picture of my face. So that's what this screen is about. We're we're taking a look at how you can take a close up picture of your face. And again, what you're combining is your camera controls and your snapshot. So you click on snapshot to open up the preview, and then you get the very first picture it sees. And you click on camera controls, and again on the zoom, and object view. And then you put this little icon right on your nose, and you use your arrow key to zoom in on your face. And when you get your face very close up, you refresh again. And you can keep checking and seeing whether or not it's a close enough picture, if it's exactly what you want. And once you get... A, a view of your face or your friend's face or whoever, you can take the photo. So you keep refreshing and taking a look until you're satisfied with what you see, and then you choose one of these options, and the photo is taken. Now you'll notice when you take photos in Second Life, your little hands come up like you've got a, a, a photography camera right there, and they'll go down again. You won't see that movement in your... Um, you won't see that movement uh, in your uh, um, as you're taking your photo. And I think one of the things you guys should do is click on all of these um, links, uh, whether you're watching the recording or you're in this uh, in real time, so that you've got them in your browser and you can either save them or um, just go out and explore them because the Second Life Wiki is absolutely fantastic. When you get stuck with anything, you can go to secondlife.com and click on Help, and you'll see all the various options of things that you can, you can do. Ah, so here's where I put the photographs. So now you're, you're a Second Life photographer. We've got our close-up on the little frog, which I ended up having to take the picture again because I forgot to, to save it to my... Um, uh, thanks, uh, Doris. That's wonderful. I forgot to save this to my my uh, um, my computer, and you see this little dot back there. That was a lady who was walking in the sky. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but anyway, um, yeah. Also on on Second Life and on um, um, Vimeo, one guy to look for is called Torley Linden, and he's got a marvelous voice. He's a lovely person, and he's been doing tutorials on Second Life and how to use Second Life from the beginning. 
Um, and you can also just put into the YouTube or the Vimeo search bar that you're interested in taking photos in Second Life, for instance, um, or whatever world you happen to be exploring. Uh, OS Grid, which is Open Sim Grid, is very similar to Second Life. So is Reaction Grid. So there's a lot of other virtual worlds out there that use similar viewers and have similar skills and similar, similar kinds of things. Oh, videos are easy. You just turn on Screencast-O-Matic or Camtasia. But the hard part, and Gwen Guasi, who's going to be speaking later on, I think may talk about this, the hard part is zooming in and getting the right angles and all that kind of stuff. And there's some, the workshop that was with um, M, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, in the EVO 2014 course, which was the Electronic Villages course for TESOL, uh, people, the uh, teachers of English as a second language, they had a machinima workshop, machinima, um, in which they teach you to storyboard and to figure out how you're going to take the shots and what kind of software is out there that you can use. It's very complex, but you can start out doing machinima purely by having a screen capture software like um, Screencast-O-Matic or, or Jing or whatever open on your computer and then trying to use controls to get in and out. You can also, in Screencast-O-Matic, you can take a static kind of a video of what you're watching and use the editing tools to zoom in and out. Um, I'm going to have to go look at that too, but that's a good idea. The sandbox is that big gray area right behind all the, or green area, right behind all the buildings. So it's a green area behind the buildings, the dance floor is on the sandbox, the um, uh, uh, campfire that I've just put out there is on the sandbox. It's called a sandbox because anybody who's in Second Life can come to that sandbox and can build something. So you can open up a box that has clothing in it, or you can um, try and make a picture, or you can try and make a display, you can build stuff, you can res stuff, yeah. You can do resing, and you can um, do building in a sandbox. Usually, a sandbox will have an auto return on, which means that um, things that you do will be returned to you if you don't take them with you. Um, that didn't come up. I don't know why. There we go. Auto return. Oh, there. They're both there. Our sandbox does not have an auto return on it because I police it and see if there's stuff left behind. I hit somebody playing with different houses and left this monster house on top of the dance floor a couple days ago. So you just, um, but most sandboxes, like the one on uh, Visti Island, which is the Virginia Society for Technology and Education, they will have an, a one hour, a two hour, a three hour return, which means if you forget to take something you're playing with with you, you don't pick it up again. It will be returned to you when the auto return comes, comes along. And, cleans out the sandbox for the next people. So anyway, this is the two pictures. And now, um, Nelly, let's take a let's head into Second Life. Um, Anne, I will go in and send you a teleport. So you should look for a um trying to find your name again. You should look for a uh, um a little um uh, notice box to the right hand side of your viewer that will say that I'm offering you, that Maggie Larimore is offering you a teleport, and click yes or accept whatever shows up, and then you'll you'll be brought, uh, you'll come from your location to where I am. Find your name again. Having a little trouble finding your name in the chat. So Nellie, I'm going to go into Second Life, and there you are, TR5 and Gotcha. I'm going to um, go into Second Life. I want to start screen sharing? Do you do you want me to turn on um, turn off my sound in here? Or no, I guess I should leave it in. I turn can't on. be in two uh, Second Life. I can't be in two places at the same time. Right? They they kick you out of one. Sorry. You can't be in Second Life on two different computers as you. Uh, yes, you can. You have to. They no, they're telling me that, that I can't. I was kicked. I'll, I'll be kicked out. Yeah. 
you don't have the option set. There's an option in preferences that allows you uh, to, do to that. see to see yourself in two different viewers. And then once you click that option, get the advanced menu. Once you click that option, you have to get out and then come back in, and then you can open up a second one and be in both. Um, so it's in preferences. You can do that. But um, I'm going to go to Second Life. So are you going to screen share? Yeah. Let me start the. Uh... Okay. And do you need me to shut off my voice and no. ears, or no? Leave it on. Uh, leave it on uh, because otherwise we won't hear you. But uh... should I, and then I turn my Second Life uh, voice back on again. Yeah. Yeah. You need to have both. Otherwise we won't. Unless you don't. Right. No. We we'll need to hear you. So yes. Okay. And I'm, um, you can either come directly to the sandbox. So when you get to the, if you go to the um, headquarters building, I'll, I'm going to left. walk over there. Um, and you'll see, you'll see some signs. I put some signs up that tell you how to get over to the sandbox. Why don't you teleport me right to the area and then I won't have to waste time walking around. Um, all right. Hi, Scoop. Nice to see you. All right, we have somebody in here. Um, let me uh, do uh, on first. Well, first I'll do you, Nelly. I'll give you a teleport. Yep. God, it's not letting me give you a teleport. Are you in Second Life? Yeah, yeah I am. I, I told you I couldn't be in two places, so now it's giving me a hard time. It's um, forcing okay, well, me to leave. Yeah, no, I, yeah it's forcing me to on, leave. You're, so well, you're not on the on online list that I've got. Okay, so let me do let me do on. Go here and find on. And I am out in high school. I'm out in the sandbox area where the panel is. Can you are add the up. um can you add the or oh, you added it before didn't you somewhere? Um, I can do it again. Let me do the sandbox plural in the Wiz IQ. It kicked me Wait, out. I to... Okay, I got it. I got it because I, I put it in myself. Oh, no, right, it's wrong. Up in the chat box. Okay, this is where I am at the moment. And let me get I'm um, taken care of here. And then we can just practice. Which is always good. It is T R. Are you seeing anything? Black, white. Uh, I'm, I'm in Second Life right now. Oh, okay. Because I want to put in. Um, okay, I'm right next to you. Or okay. close by the sight noise. <clears throat> uh oh. Okay. An if you can um if you can send me a uh Um, okay, so where do you want me to be? Let, let me, um... Get your clothes on, eh? Put, put, no, my clothes are on. Okay, you now may see me grayed out. Yeah, they were on already. <laughs> Here, gee, I was just grayed out for you. Okay, on, um, please, I am Maggie Laramore in Second Life. I put it in the chat so you can see what my, how my name is, and the chat box is accessible by going to the bottom um, of your screen while you're seeing the screen sharing, and just click that open, and then you'll see it. So you want to, I am Maggie Laramore, and that will bring you here. So if everybody can join us over here, let's see what it's looking like. And well, now you can see me. So hopefully you'll see me walk around in a minute. There, what I've got set up, okay, yeah. What I've got set up here in the sandbox 
will stay up for um, the next few days anyway, and then I'll probably put them in the photo gallery on the second floor of the headquarters. But first, what you see over here are three panels. You can read them from the front, front or, the or the back. And, and they, they give you, one is, is where to start. And they, they give you information on how to open your camera controls. controls. And, and it basically shows you the very first one, and then it shows you object. Um, the object view. So you've, so you've got, got the first, first zoom, and then, and then you've got object view. view. And, and then, then later today, today I will put in another one that shows you the front, rear, and side views for yourself. Those, Those are the green guys. guys. And, and over here are the blue ones, and these are for taking snapshots. And one is where you start. You can do it on either side of the board. And um, you can click on snapshot, and then it shows you the snapshot preview and I'll put some more up later that show you what these different options are but basically what you want to do is click everything come into Second Life and um, take a look at these tutorials and then you can you can um, try them out you can't break the interface um, if you get yourself whoops, um, if you get yourself uh, uh, stuck don't worry about it um, you can always close down your viewer and come back into your viewer and start it again, just playing with everything. So let me see what I've got up here. Oh, this is what I couldn't find. On um, okay, so all along the left are where your your toolbar is, and then along the bottom you have more information. So just follow along the signs and give everything a try, and there'll be, as I said, more information in here later and I'm going to be in here for the next hour at least um, so if you need any help just come on over and I'll take care of it so on if you um, there now you're seeing Nelly what you're seeing in WizIQ is, is Nelly getting to the sandbox and now she's at our new campfire, campfire. yeah yeah I'm going to turn off my I'm going to turn, turn off my sound just for, just, for just for a bit Okay, so now you can see um, Nelly at the campfire, and there's the dance floor, and over in the distance over there is um, the, uh, um, I'm sorry, the, uh, let's see if I can make this a little smaller. No, I want to I wanna see it all. I'm greedy. I have to see it all. You can see um, from Nelly's view, you can see this, the new campfire that I put in, and you, now you can see the panels. These blue ones are to teach you how to make snapshots, and then the green ones are to teach you how to use your camera. And now we're back into the dance floor on the, on the ground. <laughs> Whenever you see one of these little balls, if you see this little ball above the lounge by the swan pond, just right-click on that and choose Sit Here. And you can use that for these animation balls here as well, in and around the uh, campfire, and it will animate your avatar. Here you'll be sitting on the ground or relaxing. Over in the um, swan pond, you'll be able to click and um, lay down in the in this lounge chair over here uh, that you're seeing now. And you can see where we are. This big door here is the back door of the Chilbo Education Center. So you're just going to be following the signs from the headquarters over to um, either the walkway between the two buildings or to the front of the Chilbo Education Center that you're looking at right now in the screen share. RT5, that's what I did wrong. <laughs> okay, um, RT5, let me try it again. I did TR5. All right, I'll, I'll see if I can find you on one second. Okay, RT5. 
Okay, let me go back and see if R T five and okay. I'm getting there. <laughs> what exactly are you doing, Nancy? I'm trying to um, uh, catch on Novak um, because uh, we haven't friended up yet, so that I can send a um, teleport. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, because she's she he is stuck in uh, a, a nation. nation. A yeah. Tell me, is there a way to uh, to get the, uh, the the posters? I guess they're called the boards, the writing uh, fixed up. What do you mean fixed up? I mean, like it, it comes out. It's too. It's see what I'm saying. I mean, like it's long. The uh, the logos, the images are kind of longish instead of, uh, or is it maybe just my camera? No, they're longish so that you can read what's on there. Okay, but that can be. Um, kind of fixed or not fixed. I mean, according to, let's say, if I want rounder letters or, you know, maybe. Well, you um the you can't do that. Um, RT five. I'm not able to do this for you. Are you sure you're writing your avatar name correctly, on Because when I put RT five uh, backslash and A N N into the search bar, you don't come up. Um, the all of these things that are on the these display boards are made like uh, Doris's posters. You mu make them using a PowerPoint or some other kind of image maker, and then you save them as a graphic, like a PNG, you and then you it. upload them. That's it. Yeah. That, no more. That's scripting. it. And then you. Oh my gosh! No more scripting and all, and. Uh... No, there's tons. No, there's tons of scripting, but to put text on a board, it's much easier to make it in a PowerPoint to upload the image to the board and slap it on the board as a texture. That's much easier to do. Great. So virtually all of the signs that you see in Second Life are made as images outside. If you if you want to have something hover, like the little freebies that are in the um, Chobo Education Resource Center, you can put hovering text in and that will put information. But if you want to have a display board that really gives you information you need, it's better to use a combination of, I use a combination of Kate.net and um, PowerPoint and then save an individual slide as a PNG file, upload it into Second Life and slap it onto the um, whatever it is that I'm, you know, to the box that I've built or the picture that I've built or something. So that's what they all are. That's, that's what, what, that's what, what the Peonia's Gorgeous, gorgeous posters, posters are. are. They're um, I thought they, they, uh, made in a PowerPoint. So you have to do for each individual slide, you have to. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I have PowerPoint. I have PowerPoint template um, kinds of PowerPoints where I can go in and change signs and use the same kind of thing. Like, for instance, you can see that I'm using it's called Berlin um, and it's in the new uh, Windows office. And it comes in about five different colors. So I'm using the same um, the same uh, PowerPoint design, but in different colors depending on what it's about. All of the photo gallery signs are green. The these tutorials are green and blue, so you can easily distinguish which one is camera controls and which one is your snapshot. And then kind of the basic signs I'm following on some of um, the colors from uh, Peonia's. Uh, um, furniture and using that kind of burnt umber bronzy thing like on the changing room but that's what it is Oops. and that's you know if, if I save it in world if I save it in world um, uh, I'm stuck with whatever I take a picture of so I tend to save things to my computer and then futz with it in in uh, um, futz with it in in the PowerPoint or in paint.net and so I get it the way I want and then upload it are we back in the class that's kind of how um, yeah, I just, I, you, you've got a, um, uh, you're okay now. What do you mean? It, it had given you, it had given you the thing about, um, uh, making me, oh, oh, you uh, mean session the, longer, yeah, I did and that. I already, oh, you did it yeah, too? and I did, okay. I did it too, so, so yeah, so we're okay. No, I just, I just went in there, and I said, yeah. you know, um, it just felt like it was the right time. I wanted to ask you about walking, um, maybe best practices, some techniques, on how to uh, 
go up the stairs and not fall down and stuff like that so that you can open doors. Well, I mean, I, I managed to open the door, the green door over there, but I kept falling uh -huh. off the stairs so the door would close on me. Oh, yeah. The, um, yeah, yeah, sure. If you, if you want to come follow me over, you, using the air, uh, up arrow key, let me try and find Anne again. Now she's telling me it's just TR5. Um, you use the up arrow key to go forward, and sometimes you need to combine the up arrow key and the left or the right to stay straight on. So you just push them at the same time. But it's very easy to fall off things. And yeah, that, I don't remember put, that in the old days. Like, it, you know, if you fell, you, you would not fall. You would go through the furniture or through the... Uh, you would not fall well, down. So things are... Yeah, things are, things are physical now. So like this staircase yeah. is physical. Right. Which means that when you go up it, you're walking up a staircase, you just use the up button. If you, you get, get too close, close to the edge, edge like, like I'm doing now, yeah, you go boom, you up. Fall down. Yeah, yeah. So what you want to do is make sure you're going straight all the time. And sometimes that requires using um, your up key and your left or your right key to keep yourself straight. And then you put your uh, mouse up on the door and you'll see that little hand. And you either you left click it to touch it to open it or right click it. I'm in. This is my friend Nelly Nelly's house. Isn't this uh, not Nelly's? This is Lily's house. <laughs> I would Isn't like a nice? house. I was just thinking that I w the upstairs of IT for all uh, would be a great place for me to sit and write. Maybe I could focus. Oh on yeah, writing. absolutely, absolutely. And we you can put some furniture up there. There's a lot of free furniture out here in the Chilbo Education Center. There's free chairs and all kinds of stuff. Okay, I'm going to try and get on in here one more time. I like this me, room. Me ah, Peonia. Hold on, let me let me give Peonia a TP first. Oops, come on. There she is. Okay, I'm sending a TP to Peonia, and now I'm going to see if I can't get it on in here. Okay, let's try it again. Whoops. Whoops. I'm not typing very well. I'm sorry, hon. I'm going to I'm going to search for you one more time. There you are. There's a million of them. Um actually, I see a 1 2 3 Q W E 4 R T 5. Is that you? Oh, are you here? Oh, yay! Where is it was she? just Anne. I don't know. I see her on the chat. So she's close by. There you are. Oh, lovely to see you. Here, let me friend up with you, and then I won't lose you. I'm giving you a um a friend request. And whenever you're around people from the class, that's always a good idea is to uh, give them a right click on their body. Oh, don't worry. Right click on their body and, um, yeah, I saw you the other day. Right click on their body and then you'll see the option add friend if they're not a friend of yours. So go ahead and click add friend. And when you do that, you can click on the people button and up will come your list of friends and then you can find them very easily. So that's always a cool thing to be doing. Oh, there's a Buddha. No wonder I felt comfortable. Oh, she, oh my gosh. Um, Lily is a wonderful builder yeah. and she has many meditation um, benches and all kinds of things and she's always building Buddhas. She has a little shop somewhere else in the island. I have to ask her where it is. I've known Lily for a long time. Lily actually has a metaphysical bookstore and sometimes in the afternoon it's pretty quiet so she comes over to Second Life especially when her grandchildren come to visit. They come to Second Life and they and they build which is pretty So they're cool. not little kitties I presume. Um, actually they, well, actually, um, I think they're both teens now, but when they were younger, she, she gave them, um, at, you know, she had them with her, basically. They'd sit in front of the same computer, but her avatar would be in the world. So, they weren't actually in here. And then she had the controls, you know, she could shut it off if something happened that wasn't good for the kitties. Kitties? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like... 
All right, so there's... Now, with the, with the adult grid, we don't go through a lot of that anymore. They don't let people come in Hola. naked and all that. Hola, Peonia. Besitos. Uh, finally. Ah so maybe you can get some clothes here. Um, <laughs> yes. For, what did you say, Nelly? Maybe get, get us some clothes. Inside, if, if you watched my tutorial, you would know that inside of... Yeah, inside of this education village, you'll see um, in the in the Chilbo Education Resource Center. Nelly, do you see that? Yeah, I saw change change room or what is it called? Change. No, come over. No, that's the changing room where you can go and change your clothes yeah, privately. But if you come, not if that you one. Come, in, come, 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 come. No, if you come here to the Chilbo Education Resource Building, you see where Peony and I are. Yeah, but I'm trying to get. The, okay. Whoops. Okay. There's a little corner over here where there are a lot of free things. There's free clothes, walk, shoes, mouse, and free uh, furniture. Yeah, I'm walking with lamps. my mouse. I need to jump to wait. No, it's okay. You can walk. <laughs> it's not that far. There you come. Come on in here. Okay, stop. Okay, ladies. now come over. Okay. Come over here where <laughs> use your keys to turn yourself around. Come over here to this corner. This is the freebie corner. And some of these things you buy for a for zero lindens, or you just click on and take them into your inventory. And when you do that, you need to watch my tutorial. When you do that, um, when you open it up, it, it it has something called open, and you click open, and it ends. It puts everything in your inventory, and then you can find it and wear it. So if it says it's for sale for zero lindens, and you click on pay or buy, depending on what comes up in your menu, and then it will come into your inventory, and you can click on your inventory and recent, and you'll see a subdirectory yeah, with You don't know what you're getting, it. though. Can you see a profile of what you're getting beforehand? No, that's, but that's what you do then is you go to the changing room, and, you and first you go to the sandbox. Yeah. yeah, you go and try it out. That's what I'm saying. You and then you build, getting, nothing. and then you Yes, but then you build outfits. You really have to watch my tutorial. Then you build outfits and you name the outfits that, so that you know what you've got. Like, but this has been the same. I mean, this this is not something that they've changed. It was the well, they they yes, they did. They they changed it so that yeah. You, in the old days, you had to write the word wear with parentheses around it in order to see what you were wearing. Now they have a button that says wear. And you also have the ability to build an outfit. And then there's a little t-shirt in your control bar that you can click on. And it will show you all the outfits that you've got. And that way you can take something you really like and put that on. And when you are dressed in a way that you like, you click save it. And you give it a name so that you know what it is. But it's all in the tutorial that I made for the classroom on um, finding clothing and making outfits. So... I have tons of outfits. This this one is called. Um, let me look and see what it's called. This one is called. <laughs> let me find it. It's called brown puffy sleeve shirt and Swiss blue jeans. So so that's what I do. I'll say what it is. Like I have one called blue headband, green brocade jacket, green skirt, and boots. Can you take? So I just name them. Can you take stuff off of people? Like uh, no. No. <laughs> no, no, you'll get kicked out for that. Okay. In the old days, people in the old days people could do that. I had I a I had a guy <laughs> try to undress me once, but you can't that you can't do that anymore. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of things that have been proved because they have the adult uh, sim now, and uh, the adults have. Um, if you're naked, you can't fly in here. If you're carrying a gun, you can't either. Hello. So where are some free? Oh, here. Free. Hello, hello. I don't hello, that. Peonia. You can save that outfit in one folder. So yes, I have some clothes hello. in my Quick. inventory. Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah. But Nelly, when you when yes. you do an outfit, you can save outfit complete. With yes. Skin, shape, hair. Mm. Exactly. Avatar, whatever. And then when you come back in, I have folders with everything me too. I need. Yep. Yeah, Nelly, you need to watch the tutorial. If Then when you go back into the t-shirt, you can right-click on the outfit and say replace 
the outfit that you're already wearing and it will completely make you over. So you don't even have to go piece by piece. You just right click and say wear, add to current outfit or wear, replace outfit, whatever you want. But it's all, it's all in the tutorial. Set outfits, you know, you get what you want and then you save it as and you give it a name and then you have all your uh, hair shape and everything there so it's faster to change of course you don't have to get naked to change <laughs> you don't have to or you have so. to <laughs> no. no no you don't have to oh, that's good no yeah. yeah exactly Anne, are you okay uh, yeah that's what i was just chatting to her. are you okay Anne? is everything fine We, yes, we can hear you. There's a little bit in the back, but yeah, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <for> that. That's nice. <laughs> Are there any free stuff? I can't seem to find anything free. It's all free. Everything along here is free. But I can't buy, buy it. For, it says buy. You know. Buy. Yes, but it, yeah, but if you look at it, it says buy for zero lindens. So that means it's free. So you just click buy. Yeah, you just click buy and it'll come in for free. And other stuff um, you don't buy, you just pick it up. How are you doing over here, Scoop? Everything okay? There's lots of stuff in here um, for teachers. Uh, people come in and they put in notice boards of places to go and books that you can find on the internet and little tools you can pick up. Um, schedules for classes, all kinds of things. So there's, that's what the Resource Center is for. Now you can even pick up an issue of the Virtual Education Journal. Oh, good. Glad to hear that's cool. We always like to know that people are picking up freebies. Very well, thank you. Nelly, on the other side of the on the other side of the room, you can actually get the current issue of the Virtual Education Journal, the one that I mentioned um, for us to write an article. If you click on these books, I think it goes out to Amazon and shows you where they are. So everything in here is free. You either buy it for zero linens or um, you just pick it up and open it up. But you don't know what you're getting until you open it up, right? Exactly. But that's why there's a changing room. So you can go to the changing no, room the and I mean, and try things on and off. No, I didn't mean clothes. No, yeah. Th this, I meant everything. This is the same thing. It's everything. It'll give you, a, yeah, it gives you a title. You bring it into your inventory. You take a look at it. Go out to the sandbox if you have to open the box or rest the box and you can res different things that are inside like the teacher's tool has all these have this has all kinds of things like a survey thing and a, a power a presentation board and other stuff that you have to bring it into your inventory first and see and then if you don't like it and you don't want it you can just delete it again out of your inventory that's not a problem but it's all a try and test if you go to a store to buy something or to a freebie, um, uh, a big freebie area that looks like a store. And there are landmarks for the freebie areas in most of the freebie boxes that we have in here, especially in the clothes, because that's recent. If you go to a freebie area, they will all, always put a texture on the wall. Not always, they'll sometimes put a texture on the wall that shows you what you're getting. And other times you're just picking up a box and all it says is miscellaneous men's clothes or miscellaneous women's clothes or whatever miscellaneous houses you know that kind of thing so nice really nice i yeah I had to stop screen so, sharing because i have to go i gotta get ready for, oh okay for my trip well thank thank you for coming in while you have to pack this is wonderful that you did took the time to do this because i'm my um 
my my bandwidth is so low, I can't screen share from the house. So I'm sorry about that. But you're Tom, I see you. I see you talking. Yeah, 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 now I see Tom, Tom in here. Oh, that's great. Yeah, some other people. Yeah, need. he's in the voice IQ. We're over in the sandbox behind um, the building, Tom, if you want to come into Second Life. So did you get, or you got Anne? No, did you get Anne or not? Yeah, yeah Anne's oh, here. Anne was speaking just a minute ago, yeah. Oh, yeah. that was Anne? I thought it was yeah, that TR. Oh, that's right. No, that was Anne. So who else is here? What about yeah. Barry? Did Barry get there? I'm not sure if Barry is scooped. I knew, Where, yeah, let's I knew see there is. was somebody missing. Yeah, he uh, he said he was also in edu edunation. No, that was Anne who was stuck at oh, edunation. Really sure? I thought he said he was also stuck yes. there. Oh, Barry, I don't know, here? but Scoop's here. Oh, let's see. Barry's Scoop's here, here, but I don't know if... Oh, is Barry Scoop? I'm not sure. <laughs> so, yeah. Barry, what is your avatar? Are you in world? Because he's here. Could be. Oh, okay. Tom says he's in a cyber cafe with no sound, so he's just going to watch the recording later, but he doesn't have the oomph to come into Second Life. Oh, yeah. So this is Barry. Oh, okay. So Scoop now we know. Barry. So now we know. Okay. <laughs> Great. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've already friended up with... No, I have to do that. Re remember when you're in a place with people from the class, just to friend up with them, so that way you can always be in touch. I'm going to put out a group um, a group joiner in in the headquarters if anybody wants to be on an SL MOOC group inside of Second Life. I'll do that today. And then, then we can all... You, me, and Peonia, we can all um, send notices in the world if we want to. Well, Nelly, thank you so much for for doing this for us on such a busy day. This is great. All right, we'll see you um, soon, like in two days. And uh, shall we shall we close out the class? Um, if I can find it, yes, yes. All right, so uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Doris. As you can go back. Okay, there guys, I think we're we're just going to go ahead and close the yeah. class in with IQ you because Nelly needs to. Uh, you yeah, now I can, you. Can, hear now you. I can hear you. Yeah, you're actually. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Life. You know, interesting because oh, while on, we're, let me shut that off. Yeah, while we're in Second Life, everything is fine. But as soon as we come enter the cl this classroom, physical classroom, uh, you get this um the echo yeah or that's funny yeah, i funny. know it is yeah i think it has yeah. to do with delays or the system trying to balance itself out so that all the lags yeah. because yeah. everybody has a different connection so exactly right yeah yeah well shall we well, close, shall we close this up then and yes. you can get you your get packing your yes thank you have a wonderful thank you, safe everybody trip. and uh, we'll see you later thanks thank thanks. you bye now bye now Thanks, guys.